The letter Kuf is the only letter of the 22 normative letters that goes be, below the line. Just like we learned that the Lamed is the only letter that goes above the line. What this represents is very connected to the letter Tzadi. There we learned that the Arizal called the letter Tzadik and he added the letter Kuf to what most people refer to the letters Tzadi. And this is because, as we learned in the letter Tzadi, it's the righteous one, the Tzadik, who goes down to find the sparks of holiness in creation and to uplift them. The letter Kuf represents that going down. It's the motion the archetype of the soul coming down into the body in order to fulfill its mission in the world. The Kuf begins the word holy, Kadosh. There's a further connection with the letter Kuf going down. Another important manifestation of the Kuf going down is how the soul goes down into the body also for the same purpose of fulfilling its task in this world. The Kuf stands for holiness, Kadosh, but it also begins a word that represents the opposite, Klipa, which means shells. And these are where the sparks of holiness are. They're called and trapped in the shells or the vessels that broke. This is one example of many, many letters and words in Hebrew where the same letter or word will represent two opposite meanings of holiness and klipa. But we see how they're connected because our task is to extract the sparks of holiness from the shells from the klipa. The shape of the kuf is actually made up of two letters a Resh and a Zion. The Resh is above and the Zion goes below the line. Now this spells, depending on which order you arrange those letters, Zar or Raz. Zar means strange. This world, in a sense, is a strange world. It is full of complications and hiddenness and fallen sparks and so many people have the experience of feeling out of place, of feeling strange in the world. There's sometimes no lonelier feeling than feeling a stranger and having no one there. But the other way is Raz. Raz means secret. Embedded within all of this strangeness are secrets, inner meaning, inner purpose. And that's the idea of extracting the sparks from the klipa. It's to take from what appears to be strange and actually find great meaning in it. Zion Reish also is the root for crown. Ze'er. And this is the idea of how each Jew is really crowned by God to be a leader, to be a representative in this world, and to fulfill the role of the tzaddik, of the righteous one. The number of kuf is a hundred. In the letter tzaddik, we analyzed the name Yitzchak and we saw that Avraham was a hundred years old when Yitzchak was born. We have mentioned in other letters that ten times any number is very significant. A hundred is ten times ten. So we see that Avraham had ten tests one of the greatest being that he did not have children. And 
when God first appears to Avram, he says to him, Lech Lecha, go to yourself. Go out of your father's house and your birthplace and go to the land that I will show you. The two words, Lech Lecha, equal a hundred, fifty and fifty. So we see that Avram's greatest potential was having children. That's why he gave birth at a hundred, because his going to himself and finding and passing the ten tests, ten times ten, equals giving birth to Yitzhak at the age of a hundred. Later on, Yitzhak, when he grows, it says he went and he sowed the field and he harvested a hundredfold. So here we see a full circle of going from Avram's deepest potential to giving birth to Yitzhak, to Yitzhak fulfilling his purpose as represented with the letter Kuf and the number 100. We can meditate on our purpose in the world of looking for hidden sparks for taking the strangeness of this world and investing it with purpose and to fulfill our full potential, 10 times 10, to pass all of our tests and to give birth to new insight into the world.